guys, Sarah here from Southpaw Planning, and today I'm gonna ship. I'm gonna set up my new journal. But first, I wanted to go through the thought process of picking my new journal, and also show you my, I guess, the transitions that I've gone through in picking journals, and you know, basically, ultimately, getting down to the the journal that I picked out. So here, my uh, I first started not first started out, but I have this journal. Oh, that was loud. I have this journal here. This is from Erin Condren. It's one of their uh, ring bound journals, and it's kind of how I started collecting the covers. As I would buy these, their note these ring bound notebooks and so started making these journals so this is this one runs from March 25 to 2009 uh, March 25 2019 to May 2020 so you can see I didn't I don't write every day um, and honestly this book kind of came started out as like a content planner and then just slowly transitioned into a journal and I don't want to share too much because these are my personal thoughts and stuff like that and I was doing like a habit tracker here on the side um, but I did add like little things that I got from cards um, and I added those in there. I didn't do any tip-ins in this one so that's about it. Let me see. Yeah. Now that's about it for that one. Then after this one, I decided to move into something a little smaller. And it was probably because I got this for free or at a discount, a heavily discounted rate. I don't see that they make the hard covers like this anymore. They're more, you know, this soft bound here. So I used this and I didn't know if I was going to like this size because I was so used to such a bigger notebook. Um, I would only use about a page for one day on the bigger notebooks and for here I would use I go let me see if I can find a page kind of both both pages here and I don't even know why this is not filled out that's weird I must have pre-filled the days and then just not just didn't write anything in here have like a waste of paper there honestly this one runs from June 1st 2020 to August 13 2020 so you can see I didn't get very far or very much very many months in this and I did the same I added little decorative things and I think I did washi no I didn't do any washi but I did do tippins and I used this as a habit tracker so there's a little tip in there so I really liked the size of this I really ended up liking the size of this so then that's why I had moved on to one of these and this one has gone from August 2020 to April 2021 so I got a little bit further I think along but I wasn't writing in every day I did add some tippins in it see I've got some tippins and some washi started using a lot of washi toward the end um, also too yeah I got my Erin Connor markers in there as well so and I really like the size and I liked that it flexes so on my quest to finding journals to use, I picked up this bad boy and I thought this guy, he would be perfect because look how thick it is. I did a review on this and I'll leave the a card above so you guys can check that out if you want. I did a review on this in the thought that I would make this my journal, but after 
carrying it around, I guess. And it's not like I carry my journals around, but after just holding it briefly, I guess, or um, I don't know if I really like the, the massiveness of it. So I'm kind of on the fence. I do like that it's a dot grid because with um, you know you have freedom to decorate, to be creative, and I don't have a problem writing, it, you know, with a dot grid. And I this bad boy lays flat, but toward the beginning and the end, I think it might be a little difficult to write in. And therefore, I won't start to actually enjoy it until probably a quarter way through. Yeah. So, I then decided, since I had already had one of these, I'll give this a try. It's smaller. It's the Stology B6. So it's a lot smaller. But, it has 368 pages in it. And for the price, I thought that would be a really good compromise, and I, I like the pages. They're not as thick as the Aaron Condren pages or as the Believe notebook, but they are strong. So I decided I will create some of these things here and set this up for you guys, see how it comes out, and kind of do like little check-ins and see how it's going for me. I'm hoping to get, oh, you know, several months out of this, and I don't have a problem writing because I already use the A5 for my, um, my planner, so I don't have a problem writing with the squares. So we're going to give this bad boy a try. For 2021. All right, you guys. So I created these little guys on Canva to fit in my new journal, and then I also have this piece of crafting paper that. Oh man, you guys! I swear, I think I failed kindergarten because I cannot cut a straight line to save my life. So anyways, this is just a piece of crafting scrap paper that I have had in like a big like bundle of crafting supplies and I just cut it down to size and I think I'm gonna do tip it in and have this go over it. So you kind of see, don't, but it's not too sheer and it's not too, and I'm pretty sure I want to put this guy down here on the very first page, even though I don't like to use that very first page. Oh, I'm torn. I'm using that first page. Um, and I brought in a bunch of washi and hopes too. So let's get this started. I'm not going to use this page. I can't. It's just something about it. Got my trusty glue stick. We're going to do this. And since I probably should look into getting better glue stick for this type of stuff because I can never seem to get my glue to stick. And so that is why I use the washi to help it stay down. Okay, we're not doing this page, we're doing this page. We can do this. And I got my Erin Condren washi tape right here. 
I really hope that she comes out with some more washi tape like this or I'm going to have to find somebody that makes it because I am almost out. Book is sliding away from me. Subsiding away. Okay. Perfect. And that'll leave me enough room here to put at the top start and stop. And then on this page. We are going to add this little guy here, and I will tip in this guy. I have this washi tape here, and I pulled some black and whites and some yellows. I'm thinking we're just going to go with... Well, let's see. Let's see how it goes. So I will definitely need washi to hold it down. Until I can figure out this glue situation. Now I made all of these, I don't know if I said, but I made all of these on Canva. And I'd not Look how beautiful that straight line is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's use this yellow. Now, I, I want to stress this, wow, that's beautiful, that this is, you know, this is kind of, this is my journal, this is what works for me. Um, your journal is personal and should be something that works for you. Um, I know that we like to watch other people's videos because they're fun and we like to see their creativity, but honestly, when it comes to picking a journal, it really should be all about you. So should I lay this down and lay that on top of it? No, we're going to do that instead. We're going to lay this down. to use this bad boy, tip it in. So to do a tip in, you lay about half, of your washi or tape, you can use tape, you don't have to be, does not have to be decorative, but you want, and goes really great with my the fact that I can't lay down straight washi either but it also could be that my line is not straight either so you want to do about half of your washi on and half your washi off and you're gonna need a card of some sort
Now you can do it on the this side or you can have it on that side just make sure you know like this side. I'm doing it on this side because I want this decorative aspect of the washi to be on this side of the paper. Now I can come back in with clear tape and do the other side. So you kind of want to just fold this up. Because you're going to be essentially shoving this paper right into the crease of the book. Oh, that did not work out well at all. And I swear, this is not my first time doing this. It's not my first rodeo. Man, is it coming out like it's my first rodeo. Jeez. Oh, that is terrible. Look at that, you guys. Man. Oh, don't rip the paper. Jeez. Jeez. Hopefully this works out better. If not, I'm probably going to have to replace the washi so it sticks. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's better. Okay, so I'll come in with the tape on the other side to make sure I've got a good stick. And then you just trim away any extras. So it'll essentially look like that. And then when you have your this down, Wow, I guess I did not do a very good job on that side. Oh, I'm not going to be happy about this. Since I'm having such a hard time. Maybe I should do it this way. I want to lay down the washi on the paper first, but I'm having a terrible time. gosh, you guys. I think it's the... I'm on camera, so I can't do this. Okay. Let's try this
did it. Yeah. Sorry. And then I just simply run my card down, making sure that it's really in there. Cutting my extras off. Alright, so let's move on. So with the journals that I like to make for myself, I like to do like a monthly highlight. That way if I need to refer back to anything in here, I can just quickly go to the highlight page and I know exactly like what happened during that month. And I'm not like, okay, what happened? I'm trying to find it. Also... I like to do a wish list and it's not just a wish list for me it is a wish list for anything so if I think of any kind of gift idea for anyone I'll quickly I can quickly jot that down in here so um, and these pages are super quick to put together it's just a, a little heading and a little washi and since I started this month with this color, I'm going to keep going on with it. I'm going to use the yellow on the side, or maybe I'll use this yellow. Yeah, let's just keep on with Let's roll with it. Let's use the phone to hold this down, too. I don't know why I thought that I could just lay down the washi without having my ruler in between the pages. There we go. What's so great about like starting the month out with this is that all of there's look at all the colors that it has with it. It's just perfect. It's kind of how I feel about this washi tape too, the kaleidoscope. It has so many colors on it, you just can't go wrong. This will be my highlight reel, and I want to go with what are some? So we got yellow. I don't really want to use orange. Let's go with blue. Do blue and green. Perfecto. So there's my highlight reel, and I wish so when I start, I'll start on this page. Something about starting on this page doesn't feel right. Probably, or maybe I'll add, this will be a blank page and I'll put something here. Maybe I'll add some, maybe I'll 
I'll add something there. But I, that is it. So I have this journal set up for the month of April. Here's my intro page, my 2021 intro page. And I'll, let me put start and stop. there so it's really nice and snug but I really love how maybe I'll just add some more of this in there and here I thought I was almost done ha 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 silly me So that will really stick in there real good. And then I have my highlight reel for the month and then my wish list for anybody. And then I will start here and I like to do the month in, in the medium tip. Or not the month, but the day of the week in the medium tip. And then I'll do the month and the day in the fine tip. And then when I'm ready, I'll start another month with something similar to that here. So, but, oh, it's already getting chunky. Look at that. Yeah. So, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> um, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to continue watching me do like little setups for my journal, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. And I will see you on the next video. Have a great one. Bye, guys.